What is up guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video as you guys can, as you guys can already tell we're taking care of this bad boy today we're not talking about the reserve, we're not talking about the juggernaut or even the pro this is the ultimate we're gonna see how ultimate it is compared to these other boxes now we have done the unboxings for these two other boxes before so if you guys wanna check that in the channel you guys can go back after this video to see what you like but now we're gonna take care of this and I got my buddy Andy here. What's up? I'm gonna take care of that. And so now we're gonna go ahead, open it, and see how ultimate is this box. Because we have the Reserve, Juggernaut, Pro. There's a couple of boxes coming out, but this is the one we're gonna do today. Let's take care of this. I'm kind of excited. It's been a while since I've done an unboxing like this before. You guys usually really like the unboxings. So we'll see how ultimate this ultimate box is. So now let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we got some, some good lures, like always. Now, the price for this box is $79.99 if you guys wanna go ahead and get it on carls.com. But we, since we went to the Bassmaster Classic, we got a good deal on it. We got it for- 55. For $55. $55. Yeah, so whatever's in here, it's already good for us. Uh, but if you guys wanna buy for yourselves, we're gonna see if what's inside kinda matches to the price of $80. Now again, I will have to say, uh, we're not sponsored by MTV, even though we literally have MTV, 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 MTV. We're not sponsored by MTVs, we just like to do the boxes, because this is fun for us. And you guys seem to like it, you guys always blow up my unboxing videos, so thank you so much for that. So I guess you can go ahead and uh, pick out the first one here. Yeah, so spoiler I have opened mine and they are the exact same boxes. And when we fished Fort Lyle, when I saw this, I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. The Guggen flat. Oh, yep. Chartreuse, white, silver top. Yeah, that's, that's a good bait. Tight wall with Especially at this time of year, I yep. think so. Right now? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Dang. All right, this is the other one. This is a, ooh, okay, this is kind of like a prop bait. It's the Weston Spot On Twin Turbo. So I guess it's kind of like the Weston of, it's Whopper a Whopper, Whopper Popper, yeah. Weston's idea of a Whopper Popper. But look at that color though, it's kind of pink and purple. You don't ever see that in uh, like topwater lures. At least not the one I've seen. And I've heard of Weston, but I've never thrown any of their stuff. So I'm really looking forward to getting that out. Yeah, same. Headbanger, rocker head. This yep. is good for, you know, throwing like a worm or a crawl on those rocks and just banging the headbanger down the rocks. Um, yeah. Yeah, probably on a ledge or something when it gets cold or hot, like really hot. All right, next. Okay, we got some Prism Extra Wide Gap Hooks. These are carbon steel. But look at the color on these. These are kind of, I don't even know what to call that color. It's kind of like this rainbow metallic. I don't know what you would call that. <laughs> titanium Pro Series, I don't know. The titanium Pro Series is what? Yeah, that's really cool. I wonder if the Prism color has to do with anything. I'm not sure. The Chris Grow Catch Co. Black and Chartreuse Squirrel. Oh, the Bug Squirrel. B E G Z. Yep. Again, squirrels this time of year. We've caught a lot of fish on squirrels lately. Yep. Too. You guys, you guys are gonna find out in the next couple of videos how many fish we've caught on squirrels. They're doing really good right now. Uh, next, we have the Dynamic Spec Jerk Bait. Got this little jerk bait right there. You guys can see. Yeah, pretty good suspending. Yep, all right. Also, this time of year, the Lake Fork Trophy Lures Wacky Worm. They're starting, somewhat starting to spawn here with the well, with all the rain, the water's kind of been a little funky lately here in Central Alabama, but getting ready to start throwing those pretty yep. soon. Yep, yep, that's about right. Next we have, okay, I've never heard of this brand, Fishoy? How would you even say that? Fish, oil, lures? Fisher, fishoy. Fishoy, fishoy lures. This is the, what does it even say? Wait. Uh, it's a craw, I don't know. It's a it's a, it's a craw style bait I'm by Fishoey Lures. I don't know. I haven't heard of these guys. Never, you can take a look at that. I've never seen the packaging. 4.125 inch craw. 
purple, a little bit of blue that flake blue. on our on our end. But hmm. website for bigbass.com. Never explored it. Probably will after tonight. Yeah, it's there still. Little black and blue Kaylee jig. Yep, you can't go wrong with the black and blue jig. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Uncle Josh's portfolio recommended trailer. You don't see too many of those anymore. Mm -hmm. They're out there. I just don't see them beat their own. Mm. All right, I guess let's go. Yeah, I'll go with this one. Ooh, okay. This is a Team Arc TS is that 115. Yeah. So it's basically your walking style bait. It's a pretty big bait, but big bass. Yeah, I like that. It's got a nice little color to it. It's pretty cool though. Can never go wrong with the Guggen Minis, uh, the Mini Zinger, Colorado, Willow <coughs> Combo, short, White Chartreuse. Mini Zinger. Quarter ounce. Ooh. Nice. Alright, then once again we have a Weston lure. This is the Shad T Slim. Little Little swim baits, it's a smaller style presentation. Again, Weston, we're gonna have to check them out. Mm -hmm. uh, something that I'm really starting to enjoy throwing and I'm working on collecting some of these are the new X Zone series. Um, Brandon Polonix, a big sponsor of them, or he's sponsored by them. Adrenaline Call, Adrenaline Crawl. Cool thing about X Zone, um, very similar to another brand, it's uh, they float, so definitely maximize nice. the action. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the dibbles. There's always the little dibbles digest on the pack, front, back. It teaches you everything. The majority of the lures, I think. Well, let me even see what's in here. Yeah, it'll. So basically, if you're new to fishing, and if you're not, if you're now starting to get into fishing, what it's all about, some of the techniques then reading the Dibbles Digest is gonna give you a very, very good overview on bass fishing, what a bass is like, what they like to eat, how they act and stuff like that. So if you're a new up and coming fisherman, this, this, uh, this holds a lot of knowledge for you. So I recommend reading this. We've got a, can't tell if that's black and purple or green pumpkin and purple because of the lighting, but a phoenix. Phoenix jig, mustad, with a mustad uh, jig. So, again, can't go wrong with a jig. So, I really enjoy this popping up. You know? <laughs> yeah, I like it. And once again, you can't go wrong with the stickers. These boxes always have stickers. If you're a sticker guy or girl, then you guys are gonna enjoy the nice little stickers. This is a bass and what seems to be a buck. So, can't go wrong with stickers. And again, Catchco uh, and Carl's Mystery Bait and Tackle Box and MTB are also partnered with the, the Yodo Worms, which is basically like a, a fluke style, perfect for drop shot, Texas rig, Carolina rig, anything along those lines. And last but not least, we have a Banker Lures Jerk Bait. This is the JLD series. So that's that jerk bait there. It's very similar to the one we had earlier. This one. So in this box, you're getting two jerk baits, about similar sizes, if not actually very, very similar. Yeah, two different brands though. So but that is the last bait. Now you also do get the watts inside the box. So if you guys want to go ahead and scan that, that's the QR code. It's gonna tell you everything about the uh, about the baits. It's going to tell you the company, a little description of the bait, it'll tell you how much it costs. But you guys don't have to do the math on your own. I'm going to put it in this video, probably somewhere in the video. The total of how much was everything here and the total cost of the box for you guys. So you guys can see if it's worth it, if it's not worth it. But yeah, once again, let us know in the comments down below, is this the ultimate box? Or is the reserve better? Is the juggernaut better? I also have a video of the mother load. Don't forget about the mother load. So, I don't know. That's it. Do you have anything else? What do you think about the box? I think it's pretty ultimate. I liked it. You know, for 
Like I said, we got it for what, either fifty or fifty-five dollars. The classic. Um, I'm I was very impressed with it. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, for fifty bucks, this this is pretty ultimate. I'll tell you that because we didn't really get a discount on any of these. This is a two hundred dollar one, and that's a one hundred dollar one. So this one for fifty bucks for the classic special, it's is one heck of an ultimate deal, I'll tell you that. But if you guys want more unboxings, let us know. If you, if you guys want any other sort of videos, if you guys see any other sort of boxes out there, let me know. We'll get it for you guys. Do the unboxing here and do the unboxing live as well. We're, this is our very first live unboxing, so hopefully it's going well. Hopefully it has been going well. But yeah, guys, with that said, make sure to let us know what you like, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.